I'll get the odd person saying, well, that's really silly because, you know, you sold uh, the villa because we made good money on the villa, but now we're renting every month, so surely you're down and it was pointless doing it. At the moment, at this point in life, the only thing we own decondensed our entire life. Minimalised. Completely. <laughs> I'm not impressed by this. <laughs> Fart on demand. Who needs a Tesla? What on earth? Literally grew from seed. Oh, that looks gorgeous. You need a big cake though, you can do it with that. Oh, shall I just push? Push it. What's that, I've dropped it. <laughs> Have some cake! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Woo Welcome to my channel. I'm Fern, proud mum of two and wife to husband Ryan. We took a huge risk leaving our hometown in the north of England to the stunning French Riviera. It has been one crazy journey with some super challenging times, but the highs definitely make it all worthwhile and we've discovered parts of ourselves we never knew existed. Subscribe and join me for a peek into my daily life living on the French Riviera. Are you helping wrap? Nancy's helping wrap. Getting ready for the birthday boy tomorrow. New crepes. New crepes. Oh. With new crepe spray, protect spray, of course. We have got I'm lots of nice socky rocks here. He just really likes these cool socks. And I've got these ones from H&M and then I think that's a drone. drone. I think. Imagine it's not and it's just something this for This is dad like inflammatory behaviour kind of stuff in here for sure but everything in moderation you know. It's like the ultimate disgustingness basically Aye. but hey. He's going to have to share it. Tell him. He's going to have to share, share it. it with his sister. Mm -hmm. But Mum, you've got to tell him that we share it with his sister, OK? Really? Yeah, have got to tell him. Because I want to part all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Such a good helper. She's such a good helper. You should you. Should. I'm joking. We don't need to let that one. It can go in the uh, bag. I chose that. You did, darling. Yeah, it's exactly what 
I need my first because I'm going first. Are you having yours first? Because I am going first. All right. I have healthy dinners at school. I have healthy dinners. Ooh, is that how you like it? Pale and gooey? Or yeah. do you want it cooked a bit more? Pale and gooey. Pale and gooey? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Like that, yeah? Yeah. Okie dokie. This is a super healthy birthday breakfast. Well, it's not your birthday, but hey, we're celebrating. There. Do you know what I would do with that, Nance? I'd fold it over into a triangle. So I'd just spread it a little bit. Oh, oh, it's melting. Oh my God, this is revolting. Spike your insulin this morning, darlings. I want all of that. This is not normal behavior, this. Oh, let's turn that pan off because it's smoking. Yes, we've got individuals on pancakes. Oh my god, this is just bad behaviour. Disgusting behaviour. Like that. Like that. Ooh, christening the fresh crepes today for school. It's raining, mate. I need to come back in. How is it? Bob. Bon? Mm. It's a gym morning, which is why I look like this, but just wanted to check in. I've just made my morning coffee in a ridiculous mug. I'm pretty sure the kids have used this for cereal a couple of times. Honestly, it's huge, it's disgusting, it's plastic, but the dishwasher's full and I've run out of dishwasher tablets. Yes, I have, but I'm just gonna pop a little bit of Stuff on my face going to the gym with Ryan today he's just doing the school run it's Seth's birthday this morning so it's been a bit of like a different morning because all week I've been saying to Ryan don't put much work in for Thursday our boy is a teenager please remember so he's like switched things around so that he's kind of got the day off really he's just got some work from home to do um, so he's took the kids because he's got a new hire car at the moment is hiring a black Tesla which the kids are obsessed about um, because they used to dad having a work van obviously and then I have my little car which I love by the way and it broke this week so somebody's coming out to have a look at that today so it's just really thrown me off track I haven't been consistent with the gym I've run out of dishwasher tablets things like that I have had a friend's vehicle on the drive that I've used um, but I hate driving other people's cars, you know, just on these roads around here, I get major anxiety. So I've literally used it to take Nancy to dancing and home. That's it. I've not been anywhere else in it. Um, but yes, good morning, everybody. Let me have a sip of coffee. Oh, mm. so the boy's happy. 13 today. He's opened his presents this morning. I'm going to get him a cake today and I think I've told you on a previous video I ordered like this um, box which has got uh, like a reel inside it of wallets to put money in and you disguise it in the cake and you pull it so I'm going to try and do that today while he's at school so he's got it for when he gets back and he is getting together with some friends at the weekend I think they're going to like a laser tag kind of place um, oh, the reason why Ryan's trialing this car is because he's in a real predicament at the moment about what to get. Because he had a lovely van, actually, um, last year, which he was using for work. But it was kind of a bit too nice for work. We used it as a family car and a van, and it just, just cars and vans get hit here they don't stay nice for long it's really it's not always your fault it's somebody else's fault narrow roads stuff like that it's crazy so it really irritated him when the van was getting marks on it and dings in it and um, so he says right I'm selling this van while it's still quite high value so we drove it back to the UK at Christmas time left it there had it repaired and now it's sold and uh, 
Now he's in a predicament like, what shall I get? Do I get another van or do I get like a car for work? Because he's trying to detach himself from being on the tools and like that muck situation because he has so much to do now on the computer and just checking in with clients and pricing jobs and things like that. He doesn't really want to be on the tools and being delivery driver and stuff like that all the time because he just can't manage it all by himself. He was finding that the admin stuff was slipping and stuff. So I was like, oh, do I get a car? Do I get a van? So it's kind of good for him to be able to trial different vehicles and see how they work with his work. Although I really don't think he should get a Tesla. As nice as they are, they're just very minimal and prestige inside. And I think you need something like a in between it. Oh, I've just put some of that Dior Forever Skin Veil on. It's just like a um, makeup y base thing. It's got SPF in it. I won't buy it again. I wasn't blown away, but I'm just using it up. And then for the gym, if I do anything, I just usually put this on. A bit of the Aborian um, CC Red Correct because, again, I think this has got SPF in Yes, SPF 25. And it's just like a nice moisturiser, but it comes out green. Um, and then it just blends to the colour of your skin, takes a little bit of redness out. So I just pop that on to feel a little bit fresh for the gym in the morning. So I don't just look like I've literally rolled out of bed. Uh, sometimes I go looking like I've just rolled out of bed, because I have. Um, but yeah, balance. So... But I can't believe I've got a 13-year-old, guys. I've got a teenager. Oh, it just goes so quick. It's so sad when you think about it. Time is just gold, isn't it? But he's really happy. I took some pictures of him this morning. I was like, I need to take a picture. I need to remember what you were like at 13. He hates having pictures and stuff. It was barely letting me vlog him this morning as well. Put the camera away. So I got some tiny, tiny snippets, but not much. All right, I can't be bothered today. That's it. I think that's done the job. It just smooths a little bit, mattifies, and takes a bit of redness out of the skin. Really like that for these kind of mornings. You know I love a Borean, so. I'll link it below um, and then I just literally go over again if I can be bothered just with my powder brush just with whatever's left on it and then if I can really be bothered which I'm just doing this because I've got to go um, to the supermarket straight after the gym because I'm just so low on cleaning products and stuff like that just a smidgen of mascara and that is all. That will do nicely. Lovely. Yes, gym. Gosh, I haven't been. Oh, well, it's Thursday and I haven't been this week. Oh. So Monday, my car really, it wouldn't start. I'm hoping it's just something really minor. Um, so I walked Nancy to school and back on Monday and then did the same at pick up. Honestly, like to say I would class myself as, you know, in good health and quite fit. Um, but my legs after that walk, because I was using different muscles that I don't usually do, because I don't really get out much on foot up hills, to be honest. I do my gym session and I don't know why, but oh my God, like the front of my legs and the back, like my calves and my shins, absolute agony there has been all week it's just easing now and that was just literally for i mean it does take me half an hour to get to school so it was a half an hour walk and then half an hour walk back and then again at pick up but oh my gosh i really felt that so that was my exercise for monday on tuesday i think i did it just one i might have just done the morning one and then ryan picked us up yeah i think so and yeah, just exercise routine hasn't been my usual this week. Oh, let me show you these. Do you remember my avocado seeds that I planted? 
So the, the seed out the middle, of, I've got one on the go at the minute. So, started out like this. I know it looks bizarre, like you stick toothpicks into it, you peel the seeds, so the, the stuff off the seeds, so it's just the bare, stony bit. And then um, you submerge it half in water and just leave it in sunlight. And then what happens is they start to crack like this one has started to crack and then what should happen is the little um stem should start coming down so it is happening with this one as well i can see it so that's how they started a little experiment i've got one to rise brother look at these what on earth literally grew from seed honestly can you believe it i only started doing the seeds at Christmas time-ish, so they're doing well guys. So I'm just gonna keep repotting them as they get bigger. And then I'm gonna have avocado trees when we get our home. Can't wait. Snazzy, spacey car. We're not used to this, are we? I love it. Well, of course you love it. Ryan's like, I really like that car. I'm like, yeah, of course you do because you've drove a van for so long and it's been a very long time since we drove a nice car. I mean, when did we get rid of the Range Rover? Is it um, two years ago now? So yes, I'm like, don't be like fooled by the feeling of a nice new car because it's just the feeling of a nice new car. I don't think this is fitting for our lifestyle. I think it is. I don't. This is my work car, not our lifestyle car. Yeah. Eat it. <laughs> we'll see. I, I, honestly, right guys, I can't, I can't believe it like, we have completely, um, oh, basically decondensed our entire life. Minimalized. Completely. Like when we sold the villa and decided we were literally like packing up and gonna go on the move and house hunt and we sold a lot of furniture and our belongings out of the villa because obviously we only had a small storage unit so we had to really only keep what we loved. So we've only got like a select few pieces of furniture and things like that now. Um, and obviously we sold the villa, uh, we sold the Range Rover, you've now sold your van. At the moment, at this point in life, the only, no, the only thing we own is my little Fiat 500 and it's quite like liberating I'm not gonna lie like the thought of taking on a big house again and cars and things it's like <gasps> it's so nice it's very freeing it is very free you feel completely free you feel able to do as you like there's kind of no ties at the moment except for my job yeah that's a big one um, so I'm just enjoying like this chapter and I keep reminding myself like this is rare um, because what's that saying that you told me about the UK again and I thought gosh yeah, it's so easy to slip into that um, it's a debt trap that's what it is so basically yeah but you broke <coughs> it down you're not saying that everyone's in debt but basically you broke well, it, it down no it is that's the that's the British dream that's the that's the trap so basically you leave school yes you go to university that's 40 grand straight away in a student loan debt which you have to pay back when you go to work after that you find a lovely wife you get married not everybody finds a lovely wife on can all I just right say that? you get married that costs you 20 grand that's 60 grand in debt right and that's while you're in your 20s then you want your children, you want a house, so you sign up to a 400,000 uh, pound mortgage. And then, on top of that, you want to keep up with the Joneses and you want to get a nice car or two. And go on holiday. And go on holidays and you get credit cards and you get all that. And before you know it, you're in a debt trap. And you're in this trap until you retire. Working. Working. To basically to pay off these things that you wanted or you are expected to purchase within your lifetime and the only reason that you're expected to purchase them is because over 
time, governments and um, large corporations have made you feel like that is the way of life. Yeah, and once that, that's you... normal. Like even for their advertisements and things, they'll use very, yeah. you know, normal, clean, nice-looking families, and just you just get caught up in it without even realizing. Once you've gone to that wake-up moment, it's so hard not to see it for what it is. Mm. It's a trade on your time. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So you have to just weigh it up. You trade properly. when money comes from you trading your time for something. Yeah. So if you want something nice, you've got to realise how much time and effort you have to put into that purchase. Yeah. And how much life you're willing to sacrifice to, for that purchase. Yeah. Because like, you won't get your life again. It's like a few comments. I've had quite a few comments when I do like the um, house kind of blogs and things like that. I'll get the odd person saying, well, that's really silly because, you know, you sold... Uh, the villa because we made good money on the villa but now we're renting every month so surely you're down and it was pointless doing it so let's explain <coughs> the maths of this just situation. because I get quite a lot of people trying to like fathom out why we did it and is it worth it now we're in a rented property and we're paying rent every month so they're like trying to add up how much we'll have spent on rent but and I guarantee these people Ryan, I'm sorry, These, they're know. brainwashed into thinking that by corporations and their own mindset. So let's explain why it was beneficial for so, us to do this. Right, before we moved out of our house, we had a hell of a lot of overheads. We were improving the property, we had all sorts of different uh, taxes. So you have tax de habitation, you have uh, tax foncier which are all taxes, land taxes basically. And you have um, all of your bills, if, if you have maintenance, if something goes wrong with the house, all that stuff. I mean, just got... to change the, the fuel, to get a refill on the fuel for the heating. So the, the, we were spending in peak winter, probably around about 500 euros a month on fuel, which yeah. is ridiculous, right? So we had massive fuel bills, we had um, huge electric bills as well. We had huge water bills. Pool guy. Pool guy. And now we're in a rental property. The only thing I have to think about is the rental property and a small electricity bill. And I get to keep the rest of that money that I used to give out to live in a house. We're now living in a house. Granted, we can't decorate it how we want to, and it's not a big grand house, but we're still living in a house. Oh yeah, we've made a lot of sacrifices. It's and not glorious. We've made sacrifices, but are the sacrifices we've made the same as the gain we've made in the difference? You have to think about it all and in a different way. And it's also the interest that you're saving. Yeah, is. and then on top of that, the money that you take out of the house you earn interest on top. It's, you know, you have to think about money in different ways. It's kind of the situation that we're in now, like when we see a property, we've got to give all that money away to the property and then we stop earning interest on that money because it's tied up in a property. Your house is not an asset unless you sell it. It's a fact, it's a massive liability. And you need to stop thinking that, especially as we're transferring into digital economies and things are changing because house prices will continue to fall as interest rates rise. I am so extremely passionate about this. But having said all that, guys, we can't wait to find our dream property <laughs> and have a home again. But it needs to be bought at the right price, at the right time, and it needs to be, it just needs to be right. Yeah, we're Every not, last part of it. It's not that to we don't right. want to do it again. We really, really do. There's a lot of beautiful things that come from owning, owning your own home. I oh, yeah. love it. We love to personalise it. it. Um, but I just wanted to answer the question to people who can't ca like fathom why and they, they think that we'll probably be worse off having made the decision to sell at a good time because we're not. The longer we can stay in this situation doing what we're doing, the better. Your life's easier. It's it's definitely easier. And, that's and sure. your savings are growing. You're not spending money every month on crap. It makes you look at life so different. Just take a look at yourself. 
at your finances. Take the plunge. Who cares about the Joneses? That's the main thing that stops people doing it. What other people think? Yeah. Like, oh, why have they sold the house and why are they now living in something small and why have they got rid of the car? Oh, it doesn't look good. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 curtain twitcher. Oh. Yeah. Well, nobody, who cares? You get past that where you actually don't care what people think. It's about how you feel in your day to day life. Like, just, it's such a huge lift, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what's more important than all that? Health and fitness. <laughs> Without those two things, what's the point? Mm. Because you are how you feel and you are the result of the compounding of the things you do every day. Remember that. Yeah, if we'd not put ourselves in this situation, I wouldn't have as much headspace and time to put into myself. It's definitely enriched my life in that way like i've put more energy into my um there's she nicola she didn't see she didn't see she's been to brick oh bless her yes I've, I've probably you know created habits having gave everything up focusing on myself more because you know all of i've got more time to focus on me so i've created i think now lifelong habits so that when we do move into that space again and have a property and things I'll have still created these ingrained habits where I just do things for myself a little bit more whereas before I used to just prioritise the house over everything I wouldn't go to the gym if there was washing and stuff to be done so that was a super long chat I could get super sorts. passionate about it honestly I think you did I think I could I, I think I should do my own thing with this <laughs> honestly switch on Wake this is, up! This is all from going through it and learning ourselves, and just having a different pair of eyes and yeah. And it, know, honestly, if people had told me, you probably did tell me many times when I was signing up for cars and things like I that. I did. You used to be so bad. And the, the reason, uh, listen, I Ryan, can say about this car. Yeah, yeah. The reason that I am considering this a car like this is the the absolute tax benefit that yeah. you get from owning an electric vehicle. Yeah in France is unbelievable. Right. So it's very, very good to have an electric car. But anyway, yeah. go on. This is just a big novelty rubbish. Neur and neurus. I'm not impressed by this. Mm. Fart on demand. What's I've... that? So to is do this the... honestly what you pay for? Press the left scroll wheel. Oh my oh, god. It's in the back. Look. Stop it. It's in the back, listen. It's when someone sat in the back you can go. Seth. <laughs> We're definitely doing that. <sighs> what about this one, look? A boring fart. What's it? What? Listen. Don't be ridiculous. You actually choose. You can choose the side, look. What's about. Oh, it's you, look. Oh. <laughs> A verified fart. <laughs> That's great, isn't it? Not a fart. Oh, I can't. I just can't believe the gimmicks. It is gimmick. It's so gimmicky. It's like, oh yeah, I really want one of them Teslas because it plays fart noises. I'm definitely getting my kids with that though. <laughs> Sketch pad. They're giving us that extreme EMF from this screen. Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road. Wow. Okay, that's enough. Let's go and buy the boy a birthday cake. Come on. Come on then. See, I'd be happy with one of these, Ryan. Peugeot 205. Love it. Who needs a Tesla? Oh my gosh, the bakery yeah. section in here yeah, yeah, might be is to die for. Look at those. Oh, oh wow. Sorry, what is that? Yeah. Delight. Okay. All right, thanks. We've got speculoos cookies. Look at that one, it's country bar. Country, oh gosh, this is just hideous but beautiful. Hideous but beautiful. Now we're looking for 
a nice birthday cake, I think. Oh, they look lovely. Don't they, the fresh ones? Oh, yeah. Snickers with brownie. Look at that, that's got brownie at the bottom. And that. Oh, that looks gorgeous. You need a big cake though, you can't do it with that. No. Oh gosh, look, aren't they beautiful? What is that? Is it this type we need one? We need one that's going to hold the cake box, so it needs to be quite deep. Or oh, that one. Actually, it needs to be quite deep and not too soft so that when he pulls it, it just doesn't come out. I think that one. You think that one? Yeah. Oh, what's that? It looks like a savoury one, that. Oh, is it rhubarb? Yes. Pom and rhubarb. Oh, this one is dry on my street. Is that pecan? Yeah. Like a pecan tart. Some beautiful ones. Look at that. What is that? Mmm. Do you think? Yeah. Because it's tall. Is it tall enough though? Well, and what is it? Nutella gatto, that one. The tallest one here. I know it's not as good, but like these are what they're supposed to sit in. Oh the no, boxes. we're not having one of them. I know, it's just not the same, is it? No. We live in France. I know, but it's just the sponge would hold the box I in there. Should we get him a Paw Patrol one? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think he'd say? <laughs> Happy birthday, darling. <laughs> okay, I don't know if it's going to work the best, but this one's a really good cake and it's got like a, um, it's got a brownie base. So we're hoping we can just take a wedge out the middle and it'll sit in there secure. We can only try. So this is a Snickers and Brownies cake. Parmesan Go for it. Oh. 30 months. This is like our treat, this guy, is the butter and the cheese. Mm. Sometimes we have like a slice of cheese with a slice of butter on it, don't we? Oh, it's unbelievable. <laughs> Oh. Are you coming for some cheesecake, Ryan? Don't mind if I do, babe. Made from unpasteurised raw milk. It's like a pot of ice cream. Look at that. Butter. Some people won't understand this. They'll be like, oh my gosh, that is so bad for you. But when you don't eat sugar, carbs or processed foods, it's completely fine to do this. Body needs fat. Good fat. Cheese, butter, our cheesecake. Mmm. Is it bomb? Mmm. Oh my god. Heaven. Do you know what else is lovely? What? These bloody things. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> Got some cleavage going off there. Gorgeous. Yeah. You're thinking... Cut the bottom out. Cut the bottom out? You can't cut the bottom out, you're going to have to go from the top. No, you can't do that. Why? She can't replace it afterwards. Yeah, so with the pizza cake that we cut out, we can slop it all on top now. It'll work. Right, you're going to have to do it then, because you're the builder. I don't yeah. understand. Why don't you just press, press it so you've got the outside. Yeah, press the outside. <laughs> Can you not leave it on there while you cut around? Are you getting through the base there or not? That isn't the same the cake, it's just... I think it's not. How do people do this? We need to get out of that What are you doing with that? You need a little plate because we're going to swap that back on. Yeah, but it might need a bit more. Just get the stuff out and I'll know. Oh, right, okay. What's going on in there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, go on, Dad. 
Daddy, well done. Well done, Daddy. Gosh, anyone would think you were a builder. How is it? Nancy's so, so fussy. She's weird. Super weird. She's not like a sickly, cakey chocolate person. She'd sooner have sweets. Definitely away, not my away, daughter. Away, away. Needs to be. Don't push it in. You'll make all the sides concave in. It just needs to be a bit lighter. Oh, Get off. Children needs cream. Bloody cake left here. <laughs> gonna be. This was probably a bad choice of cake for I this box. Like so but it was. Oh, shall I just push? Push it. Yeah, push. Oh, it's good. It's just not tall Yeah, but we can do this, little Nance. So now it's time for reconstruction. So we only need the cream. Do you think? Yeah, because then it would just look weird. So we're gonna fresh cream. I need this cream. Yeah, hold it. Put it up on it. Do you think that? Don't do that. Do you think that's good it enough? Looks good. Does that look good? Wait. Mm. Do you want to take perfect? Because it's wait, special, wait, 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 I made it. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, special. Yeah, Hello, Seth Stone. <laughs> it just had a little bit of reconstruction work. Wait, just pull the happy birthday thing out. Have some cake. Have some cake. <laughs> Woohoo! 